Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another video update on my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, it's been almost exactly a week since this game has released, and oh man, it's like a night and day difference between the island as it was in my last video compared to now. I have made so much progress, there's a total of five villagers living in my island now because I started off with Sparrow and Peshmina, and then Nate moved in, and then Sprinkle, and then Bettina, so I did have to build those three houses, and the residence services is under construction. That'll be complete tomorrow, and I think that's going to be a real turning point for this island. I mean, I'm enjoying this game a whole lot already, and I've been streaming it a lot <laughs> on Twitch. If you're not following me already, you definitely should check it out. It's in the video description below, but it's twitch.tv slash iron underscore seagull. And uh, I do have this uh, umbrella. It's actually called the Toad Umbrella. I just bought it today, so I guess... That's meant to be a Nintendo reference. And speaking of Nintendo references, I also crafted an ocarina pretty early on, so that's really cool. Oh, it's not my tool wheel. Uh, I guess I'll just find it um, this way. Um, wait, where is it? Uh, oh, it's on the bottom row there. You can play <laughs> a little tune with it. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, but let's get the umbrella back out since it is raining right now. Hopefully, <laughs> Mabel like that. This is the first time I've also seen Mabel selling clothes uh, in my uh, my island. And I do have some fruits, and actually it's thanks to some of you uh, who are uh, on my friends list that I have some peaches, I have some pears... And um, I do have some oranges that are growing over on this side over here, but they're not harvestable right now. The only thing I'm missing at the moment is apples, which is actually what, one of my favorite fruits in this game. I don't know, I think orange is my favorite, but yeah, I got all that in, uh, in case you didn't see the other video. Yep, cherries is my native fruit. But I guess how I should actually start off this tour is to show you, uh, show you my house. <laughs> There's so much to show off. I wonder how long this video is gonna end up being. And Nate actually did give me the DIY recipe for that uh, dog bone welcome sign. <laughs> Even though I'm more of a dog person, but I, I don't know, I think it's really cute. And it's the only uh, door plate that I have right now. And I also have this welcome mat. I can't remember how I got it actually. Maybe that was... No, I don't think it was a DIY recipe. I think I got it from a balloon present. So right now I have three rooms and uh, this is my kitchen slash living room, I guess. And you can also sit here and can, like, tell you my future because of this fortune-telling table. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of finicky with trying to, like, sit on furniture sometimes. I don't know. It's weird. There we go. <laughs> let me <laughs> look into your future. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that amazing clock. I'm pretty sure I did get from the, uh... For balloon present that I got once, and the robot that's on the clock actually just, just occurred to me. Uh, it's actually referencing like that robot is this sort of like ultimate reward you can get for having a bunch of different materials, and I think it's appeared in multiple Animal Crossing games. And also, I forgot to mention my outfit that I'm wearing right now. Uh, the shirt is something I got from a QR code because if you just Google Animal Crossing QR codes, you can find so many QR codes to put in your game that you can scan with the Nintendo Switch online app on your phone and then from there you can download them to your New Horizons game and uh, I got quite a bunch. I guess I can quickly show you what I have. So in the pro designs I have, um, I have an outfit for Dr. Eggman. This is actually the one I wear the most and then the one I'm wearing right now is like Link from I guess you could say like Ocarina of Time era and then I have the Breath of the Wild outfit and I have a couple of Assassin's Creed ones that actually work as dresses so it can be more flowy, so I have Altair's and Itzio's, and I have a Driftblim hoodie. <laughs> uh, I have a few Fire Emblem Three Houses ones, I have a Gryffindor one. <laughs> uh, Totodile, Zatu, Lugia, Raichu, Pikachu, uh, Iron Man Mark Three, Iron Man Mark V, Green Arrow, and Spider-Man. And then I have a whole bunch from this custom designs here, so I have some Sonic ones. You've I've noticed the Sonic painting that I have right outside my house. I might use one of these for um, 
for my flag once the town hall is fully built. And I download some pathways, so even though I don't have the normal pathways you're supposed to get way later on in the game, I do have some paths laid down in my town. They're a little tedious to set up, I will admit, but I think it's better than nothing, just having bare grass everywhere. They have a Splatoon one, and a cute Pikachu one, and uh, you might, uh, you might notice actually that <laughs> I do have Blaze the Cat on my phone skin, so yeah, you can even customize your smartphone, and so cool! <laughs> I wish The Sims had customization like that. And, um, yeah, I do have a bunch of DIY recipes at this point. Um, I don't know what the new one was that I just got. Oh, wait, I think I got it from Bettina recently, but... Oh, okay, maybe I did accidentally check it off, but... Oh, yeah, yeah and I also did the star one. Oh, yeah, the rocking horse! <laughs> yeah, I should definitely make that later. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've... I've been even enjoying the online aspects because I've had uh, Andrew Arcade over to my island and uh, a streamer uh, called uh, Mrs. Uh, Elieska. She's pretty cool as well, and I visit some other people's islands too. It's really fun seeing what other people have come up with. So I'll show you the bedroom that I have as the second room up here. Oh yeah, and I did get an S rank for my home design, so that's the pennant that you may have seen above the um, entranceway to this bedroom. So. I have, I have, yeah, I think I got all the pocket camp items. So uh, one of them is this slot machine here. And it's actually playing that music that you're hearing right now. So you can just like press this and then you hope you can uh, hit the jackpot, but it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't give you any money or anything, but I don't know, it's just a cute little item, I guess. <laughs> and um, yeah, I have, I have kind of, Sort of like a theme going on, a little of red and orange, and yeah, it was actually one of you who gifted me the orange end tables or the orange lamp, because I have the cherry theme furniture, not the orange ones, but yeah, so you can really help out your friends too, thanks to the online play. Oh yeah, I did get this wrestler <laughs> figure from a balloon present. It feels like the closest thing I have to like an amiibo <laughs> thing in game right now. And I actually have a couple of sewing kits. This one's in a yellow color, and then I have one in my storage that's a blue color. And then I have the Nintendo Switch, and it makes the clicking sound. <laughs> and then I'm hanging some of the stuff on the wall that I've gotten as rewards, or from balloon presents. Like this blue, uh, the blue uh, beret I got from Gulliver. <laughs> and then I have the Dodo Airlines t-shirt. And I have this boomerang. I think that was also from a balloon president. And uh, I think the sea globe uh, on top of this, uh, on top of this fish, I got from a balloon present as well. And then I got this sea butterfly because I don't know, I just think it's really cool. <laughs> it has a very unique cylinder container. I've seen no other fish yet that have that as the, its container. And then I have the DI workbench so I don't have to go through loading screens to go into uh, Nook's tent and just a chair. And then I got some wallpaper from the store as well as this rug. I think this rug I might have got from. Uh, Sahara the camel and uh, yeah I have some nice flooring as well so let's go over to my bathroom which I just got today because now I've actually gotten really good at the fishing but oh yeah and also yeah this is kind of the kitchen I don't know if there's a fridge in this game there probably is but for now the water cooler will have to suffice and there actually is a good amount of interactive items so far in my experience because I know um, on one of my previous videos, some of you were saying, like, don't expect much at all in terms of interactive items, but it seems like with New Horizons, it's pretty decent so far. Even the sink, you can turn on and off, and uh, there's this vacuum here that I got when I upgraded my house. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, even the snow globe. Even the snow globe is a little interaction there. And, alright, let's go into the bathroom. So... A funny thing I actually learned from Game Explain is that if you've eaten some fruit, you can actually get rid of that excess energy if you want to by going to the toilet. Like, I mean, right now I haven't eaten anything, but um, you can still like sit on the toilet and then you get off it and then it'll uh, flush, but then it'll actually drain your uh, fruit meter if you've actually eaten some fruit. So it's kind of cool. It's the closest thing we have to a bladder meter <laughs> in Animal Crossing. It's, uh, it's a really nice little detail. I, I, this game is full of little details. I, I just love it so much. So I got this bamboo themed bathroom because I was getting 
uh, a few bamboo DIYs that I was starting to feel that um, I should make some sort of like bamboo themed bathroom so I can actually use all this stuff. And the goldfish has a, a pretty nice little display too, though you can't display anything on top of it, maybe because it would block um, your ability to see the goldfish in there. And uh, yeah, I just have like a wardrobe here. Just wanting to make this more of a chill room, but it's still very much a work in progress because I don't even have a shower yet. That's why I only have a <laughs> only have a bathtub. You can't actually get in the bathtub, but you can uh, just turn on the water like you can with the sink. But all right, let's let's get out and show you the rest of what I have with my island. I'm I'm really happy with it so far. So let's uh, right out here. Okay, all right, got my totem umbrella out. So yeah, one of the first things I crafted was this birdhouse. <laughs> I like it a lot. And then yeah, I remember seeing that Pashmina also lives on the beach as my neighbor. And I've got a lot of coconut trees growing along here. They're pretty easy to find on the mystery islands. And then uh, I got a hammock here. <laughs> I got that I think a couple of days ago. And you can actually sleep on it like that. Though I guess I wouldn't advise doing that in the rain. <laughs> so Bettina's house is right over here. I guess I can show you all the interiors of the houses so far. I think, I think they look pretty cute. And I'm so jealous of Bettina's kitchen. I want these objects for myself so I can really have a proper kitchen. Though she doesn't have a fridge either, but... Um, yeah. Oh, this doesn't seem to actually turn on, this stovetop. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. Actually, no, this is not turning on either. Unless it's maybe just because it's her house and not mine. I don't know. But, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's pretty cool. And then, yeah, she's just working on her, uh, her stuff. <laughs> I love how Bettina says eekers as her catchphrase. Don't overthink your answer. Uh, you're about to enjoy a cup of tea. So, what kind of tea are you having? Oh, um, uh, I don't know what I prefer out of these. Uh, I'll go with chai tea, I guess. I'm not very versed in tea. <laughs> uh, I've had chamomile tea before, that's nice. Um, I've read that how you answer is supposed to say something about how things are going in your life. Really? Okay. <laughs> I think choosing chai tea means you try to be sweet to everybody, but lately you really need to vent. Oh. Well, I, uh, you know what? That actually does sound kind of right, especially considering all the stuff that's going on in the real world right now. Yeah, sometimes we all need to let loose and de-stress Eekers. <laughs> the Eekers kind of roots that message a little bit, but uh, yeah, all right, let's 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 move on to the next thing. I guess I'll just go from right to left. So I'll show you the east side of the island, and then we'll start moving west. So... I love this part. I actually did arrange this in the middle of one of my streams. Though I had wooden block chairs here originally, now I've upgraded them to more like uh, actual patio chairs. And uh, oh yeah, another thing, um, in case you didn't know, because it is raining right now, uh, it's actually your only chance when it's raining to get one of the rarest fish in the game that's worth 15,000 bells each. And uh, it's called... Um, Oh, actually, I, for I forget how to pronounce it already. Um, Coelacanth, I believe, is how you say it. So, uh, yeah, I'll try to get that after I'm done recording this video and put it up. But, yeah, I think it's cute. Just having uh, the radio there playing some music to set the mood. I have a little outdoor uh, a cooking top there and the torch and the chairs. Actually, I'll show you the view when I, um, when I sit on it here. I think it's really... Cool, if, it, if the game will just let me sit, please! Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> I guess it is nicer when it's during the day and not raining, but yeah, that that's how it is. So, uh, yeah, I really love this photo mode, too. Really set the mood, be like, oh, dramatic, and be like, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have some emotes as well. You have to wait until some villagers approach you like they walk over to you and then they can teach you some so first I got like uh, these uh, these four and then I got this cold chill one yesterday oh <laughs> that's that's not an emote I was just struggling to move to another chair and it, like, it's not letting me for some reason so uh, yeah it's pretty cute I can't wait to get more of these emotes 
So let's um, let's move on here. So I got some more trees. Some are still growing. I got some pear trees over here. Oh, another snail. I think. Oh wait, maybe it was raining when I caught my first snail from a mystery island. But oh, well, that's cool. The rock wasn't here before because this was all blank. And I was like, what do I put in this space? Because I couldn't build a house yet. Oh, the snail's gone. Oh well. And I was not sure, so I just uh, put some spare pear trees <laughs> over here. And, oh, there's a fossil spot, so I'll go after that later. And, yeah, let's, um, let's go across here at my vaulting pole. This does not seem to break, which is a good thing. I've had the same one ever since I constructed mine. And I have this uh, waterfall over here, a couple of waterfalls, but I'll get to the mountain, I guess you could say, of my island later. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I should totally pick this up and see... What we'll learn from this. Oh, hello, mysterious stranger. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. Ah, I never cease to amaze myself. And now you and only you get to reap the benefits of my brilliance. It's time to become a DIY legend. The king of craft, Shep. Let me guess. Shep is a sheep? Because I don't know all the Animal Crossing villagers. I know some because of uh, me playing the original GameCube and Pocket Camp, but... Yeah, I don't think I remember Shep, but all right, got a deep eye recipe, chocolate herringbone wall. Oh, that sounds cool. Guess I'll have to try that out later. Okay, so up here, uh, I actually came up with this um, this idea of having an outdoor sleeping area. If I just come all the way out here and I just want to pretend like, oh, like it, I've come really far. I don't want to go back to, uh, all the way back to my house in order to sleep. So, um, yeah, I thought I might as well just catch this wharf roach while I'm here. And then I also have the DIY workbench here too, which will also come in handy. Like if I'm just, um, just like maybe chopping trees around here and my axe breaks and I can easily just Go over here and craft another one. And uh, yeah, I think this looks really cool when um, I get my villager to just like sleep up here and can just see uh, everything in the distance. Though again, it's like raining, so not the best time, but oh well. At least I'm getting to record the first time that I ever see rain on my island. Uh, Alright, yeah, I think I will actually save like, yeah, it looks like these snails do appear more in the rain, but... Yeah, I think I'll save the, the mountainous area for later. Okay, let's vault across. Woo! Alright, oh, there's the sparkly spot for today where I can plant a money tree. Oh, there's a money tree <laughs> right here. I'll come back for that uh, later as I'm done recording. But get this out again. And then, yeah, I just kind of got like a forest over here. I haven't changed anything about this. So there's another fossil spot. And then, uh, maybe I'll just run south here. Oh, I think I'm, yeah, I think I have to pull vaults again. Across the river. Okay, so, yeah, let's go back to the little, um, market square. So, I have Nook's Cranny right here, and then I have some trees that are by it, the peach and pear trees. And then, yeah, the rest of the service is being upgraded, and then I placed... Blathers' museum over here. And I feel like the museum could warrant its own separate video because this video is getting long already and the museum is just like a whole big thing. And uh, oh yeah, I do have a wash up and a clothesline and get the laundry day on even though you can't actually do laundry in this game. But yeah, <laughs> that's why I put that there. And then this is kind of just like a musical performance area. I don't know if you could maybe build a stage later on, but uh, yeah, I did use QR codes to put a couple of question mark blocks on the ground, and I just have uh, some seating with the hay bales and the zen cushions, and it's, uh, I can actually kind of play these musical instruments if you mash A, just like I did with the ocarina. Um, Phil, uh, no, I think I need to really put this away. I do like that umbrella twirl, though. Yeah, so I got this recycled wind instrument and then this pan flute that reminds me of the Into the Music of uh, Fan Made Stuff Pack that I showcased on my channel recently for The Sims. And then over here, I have this drum set. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, pretty rad. And I got this wooden fish. Reminds me of the Little Mermaid. Oh yeah, and this Spring Rider I can actually, um, actually rock it a little bit. There we go. <laughs> it's very cute. And I love these market banners from Pocket Camp because that's a really good way of kind of like establishing the downtown area <laughs> of, um, of your island. Uh, let's get this out again. So, uh, over here is Sprinkle's house and I gave her this wood fire oven that's cooking this pizza <laughs> and this little patio set that I needed to have there so that the house could be built and I have a trash can and actually what's really cool I haven't seen anybody talk about this but um, you can actually press the A button near it and then you can discard items so uh, through here so um, I don't think there's anything I want to throw away but uh, yeah if you actually hit confirm it'll delete the item from your inventory it'll just be gone for good so yeah I think that's um, a really cool thing so let's, um, actually let's go inside Sprinkle's house. Oh wait, no, she's out and about. I forgot about that, but I haven't seen her anywhere yet, so hopefully we'll run into her. And then down here I have this little beach area. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I think I, <laughs> I didn't realize I had this chair rotated the wrong way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then I have this little uh, beach ball over here. Well, I don't know if it's really a beach ball. It was just a... It was just called a ball by the game standards, and it can just um, press the A button here, and it can bounce in the air. <laughs> All right, so then we got the bridge. Oh, and then there's also Sparrow's house. Actually, I haven't seen what Sparrow's house looks like now. If Phil let us in. Oh wait, no, he's having fun somewhere else too. I'm growing some flowers, and I love the little detail of when. It's dark outside. This scooter <laughs> has uh, has a light. I wish we could ride the scooter around, though. That'd be so amazing. It's the same thing with a bicycle. I have a bicycle, but you can't ride it around. But because I guess you, I guess the running is a decent speed, but yeah, can't actually uh, do anything with them. All right. So uh, actually, I couldn't go up here. You can see there's another waterfall over here, and I do have a log stool up at the top, so you can just look over the waterfall and just take it all in and be relaxed. And I do have a little QR path over here. Though I didn't realize until it was uh, too late until after I started making this path that didn't have like a corner piece, but oh well, it's all right. And I love this campsite sign. I also have one near the airport and that's also from the pocket camp items that you get from uh, linking your game to your uh, my Nintendo account, and then here is Nate's house. I haven't done too much with it yet, but you have the clothesline, a little stone table. I also have a bamboo garden over here, because I did get the bamboo mystery island a couple of times, but let's go... Oh wait, no, Nate's probably still out and about too, because I did see him earlier. Yeah, I'm out on a snack run. Uh, and then down here, yeah, I don't really have much over here, but then... Over on this side, you have a bonfire going. I do want to build some more chairs that I can put around here. It's good that it's even going while it's raining. And then, yeah, here's the <laughs> here's the mountain bike that you can't use. And then I have this pier with a few chairs and just look down to the distance. So I got a rocking chair. I got a rocking chair in Animal Crossing before I got it with <laughs> the knitting stuff back in The Sims 4. Oh, shoot, I scared that fish away, but... Sadly, this chair does not rock <laughs> while you're on it. I don't understand why, but yeah. Oh well. We'll uh, move on here. So yeah, there's the bamboo garden. And then there isn't really too much to speak of uh, up here. It's just, um, I think I'll probably put the lighthouse at the very top, like over here if I can. I'm not sure how it'll work with the lighthouse, but yeah, I would love to have a lighthouse <laughs> on my island. I remember seeing that in the director, I was like, oh my god, yes, please, I need that on my island. Uh, and I guess maybe around front here, I'll start climbing up with my ladder. Uh, yeah, once I have terraforming and the ability to make ramps and stairs, I would love to have some villagers live up here. I think that would be very cool, but... 
yeah, you have uh, the waterfall over here, the log still on the other side, and then it's just kind of like around here, have a cliff top pond. Though I don't, yeah, unless I terraform it, I don't think there's enough space for anybody to live up here. But yeah, that'd be kind of neat to have someone living there. So then, let's go over here. So this is basically the highest point of the mountain. In my island, you can kind of see like some other islands in the distance. Yeah, because I just remembered there was one streamer I found recently through a raid, and uh, her name is Polka Pixie. And uh, at one point, we were discussing about what would they do for DLC for this game. Would they actually do a paid DLC? And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe they could do DLC where they allow you to own more than one island. But I would imagine that would be something best left for much later than right now, since the game only just came out and we're all still building up our island, unless maybe you're doing the time traveling thing, which I'm not doing. I want to have a clean game for as long as possible, because I didn't even reset to get what I wanted. But, uh, yeah, so... I think we've seen all of the mountains over here. Alright, so I guess at this point I have shown you pretty much the whole island. I couldn't go into any houses except for Bettina's right now, but yeah, that's just kind of a luck of the draw thingy. Just go to the vaulting pole. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I guess one other small thing I can talk about is how here I have some tires and the OK Motor sign from Pocket Camp, so eventually I would like to make this sort of look like an outdoor garage area. I don't know if there's any actual sort of life-size models of any cars you can unlock. I know there's a vintage gas pump that I've seen from other uh, people, but no, unfortunately I don't have that unlocked yet. But I think with that, I am going to wrap this up here. So I hope you like my island so far. It's only going to get even better from here. And yeah, especially tomorrow, I'm really excited about having the upgrade to the resident services building and I think I think that's when Isabel is gonna show up too so that'll be pretty awesome but yeah be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest content from the Sims Sock the Hedgehog and more so I will talk to you all later and have a great day thanks for watching yes Sonic <laughs>